This 1830 Greek Revival home on 58 gorgeous acres includes over a half dozen principal dwellings, guest houses, and outbuildings, and it's all for sale. Magnolia Ridge Estate is in Washington, the third oldest settlement in Louisiana. Founded in 1720, it is a former French trading post that flourished thanks to the river that runs through it. 80% of the city is on the National Historic Registry. Magnolia Ridge Antebellum Home, or Prescott Place, has been a part of the history of Louisiana since 1790, when a small cypress dwelling was built for the overseer of the John Collins estate. John Collins had received the property as a 320-acre bounty grant for his participation in the Lewis and Clark expedition. Since his principal residence was in Feliciana Parish, the building remained an overseer's home until 1828, when John Moore, a prosperous judge, politician, and merchant from St. Mary Parish, acquired the property. Judge Moore made two additions, tripling the size of the residence. Just off the gallery is a 500-year-old live oak, which is registered with the Louisiana Live Oak Society as the Judge Moore Oak. Except for the removal of one wall in 1939 and the addition of plumbing and electricity, the house has remained virtually as it was completed in 1830. The flooring is mostly the original cypress throughout. Period window coverings are used throughout, made from the patterns shown in the Gotti's Lady Book, 1857. There are approximately 5,000 square feet of living space in its three stories of rooms and hallways. This monumental mantle is the epitome of 1830s late federal style. The Greek key pilasters and hand-carved apron are a perfect expression of the type. Millwork throughout is mostly original and where hardware needed replacement, it was replicated to match the original.
French doors open from the kitchen and breakfast room onto the lower back gallery, and both front bedrooms have double jib doors opening onto the upstairs front gallery. Guys, these house restorations can be a real pain in the you-know-what. Not only are we working our fingers to the bones, stripping, scraping, sanding, polishing, there's also a huge material cost. And it's even worse now that inflation's thrown everything off the rail, not to mention what inflation has done to our hard-earned savings, investments, and retirements. Luckily, we've got some help from our friends at Masterworks, a game-changing startup based in New York City's financial district. Masterworks revolutionized the way you can invest, and potentially grow your savings. You're not investing in volatile assets like stocks or cryptocurrency. Masterworks allows everyday investors to invest in real, authentic, contemporary art. Now you might be wondering, why art? Well, millionaires and billionaires have been using art for generations to help protect and grow their wealth. But with Masterworks, you don't have to be the 1% to try to reap the benefits. In fact, in the last 12 months, Masterworks paid out over $25 million in net returns to everyday investors just like you. And the world is paying attention. CNBC, Forbes, CNN, and more are raving about the idea. Demand is so high, Masterworks is acquiring paintings on a weekly basis. Over 617,000 people have signed up so far. And our subscribers can claim a free, no-obligation account today at the link in the description. The owners have gone to great lengths to restore this home to its original beauty. The home includes six bedrooms and five baths. The view from the second store gallery is breathtaking with evergreen trees and beautiful landscaping. This bathroom not only includes a beautiful tub, but also a foot bath.
Off of this enormous bedroom featuring a fireplace, you have not only a claw foot tub and a gorgeous double vanity, you also have a sits bath. There are jib windows off of both bedrooms on the second floor that open onto the second floor gallery. The third floor has an another enormous space featuring beautiful wooden beams and great light. The third floor light fixture is a masterpiece. And the vanity in this bathroom is one of a kind.
Back galleries surround a patio of antique New Orleans flagstones and features a steamboat bell mounted among blooming perennials, annuals, and crepe myrtles. Adjacent to the house are formal gardens with a fountain and fish pond, rose-covered gazebos, and a large magnolia-shaded deck. The Weaving House was built during the early 1800s and served as home to many craftsmen who worked in the steamboat trade. The outdoor kitchen is a replica of the detached kitchen which served the main house until about 1900. It is sheathed in antique boards removed from several old buildings and is constructed with square nails. It has battened shutters which were copied from the originals on the main house. An antique cypress cistern makes for a dramatic feature in the landscaping. The gatehouse features 18-foot ceilings, antique French doors, vintage windows, and Edwardian keyhole mantel with beveled mirror. The caretaker's house was completed in 1998. It has 2,300 square feet and two stories sheathed in redwood siding on a concrete slab.
This large barn has over 2,300 square feet of stabling and storage, electricity and concrete flooring. The Petrie House is a pristine example of the early Prairie Acadian Bucille Age or Mud House. Known as the Faubourg Plantation House, it was built by the Petrie family around 1770 on a site about 20 miles northeast of Washington. It was moved to its present site in 1994. The back gallery overlooks a specimen garden planted with herbs, antique vegetables and flowers cotton, sugarcane, herbs, and fruit trees. Cypress Pond with deck, walkway, and seating to enjoy the swamp wildlife and tranquility is nearby. There are three miles of asphalted walking and jogging trails covering the 58 acres. The landscape includes wildflower meadows, bayou frontage, and a shaded green ravine. There is a pond for fishing stocked with bass and brim. There are two lighted tennis courts and a basketball court. The fish house was a small tenant farmer's cabin which has been fully renovated. This amazing 1830 Greek Revival property on 58 acres with over a half dozen guest houses is for sale for $4.95 million. The realtor information is in the description below.